Bowl game tonight. Both teams like go. to get out and run, Grant. Well, hey, when you've got the speed and athleticism, it's the best way to play. You have to challenge the defense to keep up with you. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got James Harden. He's out there with John Conchar. And it's Portis in at the center position. Now here's Grant. Washington with the ball. Portis picks him up. Blocked! Outside Harden. Takes a three. Sends it home oh. from three-point land. Dang. And that's just oh. precision personified from Harden beyond the arc. I mean, he looks so comfortable shooting from out there. Pass to Bay. Grant with a screen on Brown. Levine with it. Grant the screen. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to be on Bruce Brown. I think what you have to appreciate about Zach Levine is he is becoming such a well-rounded player, willing to share the basketball, willing to hit the boards, and certainly willing to become a more efficient shooter. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Conchar, good. And hitting from the mid-range here and early. I mean, really gives the defense just another thing to worry about. They're basically saying, you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. Now here's Grant. Out to the wing. Washington, left side. Just five to shoot. Left block shot on the way. It's hauled in by Portis. Pass to Conchar. Levine with a steal. To the paint. And Washington with the basket. On the assist by Levine. Well, because he's such a good scorer, passing windows open up for Zach Levine. Hits the trifecta. Hey, when he's hitting that shot, it really helps the spacing for this team. And what happens is the court just opens up. You like seeing him get into a rhythm from outside the arc. Love it. He was gripping the rock on the way to the slam. No way he was going to get stripped on that one. Here's Harden. Hits the target from 18 feet. Harden's got five points. Clever move by Harden. He pulls up fast before the defense can react accordingly. Pass to Bay. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Out of bounds. Pistons ball as Detroit keeps possession. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. And here's Washington. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. It seems really frustrating. Here's Portis. Robinson with the block. Well, no easy buckets with Mitchell Robinson in the vicinity. Sends that back with authority. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. From behind the arc. Conchar, good. He's got five. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Washington against Harden. Washington passes to Bay. Grant outside. Five to shoot. From the wing, Brown with the block. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. And the Pistons making a change here. Stewart's checked in. To your Pistons, Isaiah Stewart. Hey, 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 get on James. Washington against Harden. The three ball connects from downtown. Harden's got his third bucket of the night. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Here's Washington. Looking to win the run. And a big finish by Robinson. 
Yeah, Mitchell Robinson, if you fail to get a body on him, he will go to the offensive glass and make you pay. 16 feet out. Count it. One for one to start the game. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Here's Levine. Uses the glass on the layup. Levine's got his second basket of the night. What a fantastic finish by Zach Levine. Contact? Yeah, I can finish through that. All right. Welcome's coming on to the court. Come on, get back for your Pistons dancer. So for the Pistons, Olenek checked in for Robinson, and Diallo subbed in for Bay. Here's Coffee. 4-3. That one doesn't drop. Now Washington. Pass to Diallo. It's stolen by Bielitsa. Here we go. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've got. Now here's Diallo. Can't convert off the spin. Here's Shepard. No good on the triple. The three from Washington. Gets it to go. His second make in six tries. Just simply running in offense. Probably the area where Zach can grow the most. Perfect night so far, two for two. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. A minute 50 left in the first quarter. Unloads from 13, and the shot falls short that time. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder, should he have moved it just one pass more? Levine with a steal. Boucher's checked in for the Pistons. That's his first personal foul. Team second. The Pistons trailing. To the floor, to your Pistons. Washington Chris passes to Boucher. Levine with it. Into the lane. And the lamp is good off the glass. Levine's got eight points. When you think of Zach Levine, his athleticism pops, right? This guy off the drive, so hard to guard. Pass to Bielitsa. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. And here's Levine. The layup off target. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Gets the three ball to go. And <laughs> they've got the D reeling. A full three-point attack right off the tip. Outside Levine with the 10-footer. And that one drops. Ten points for him. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. To the inside. Here's Shumpert. Shoots over Levine. Shumpert, that's good. And taking a look at this first half, they've just shown better shot selection. And I think, obviously, we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass. So important. And the duck by Levine. Now Zach Levine makes these kinds of nights look easy. He has got everything in his offensive arsenal. Here's Coffee. Three-pointer, no good. Diallo finds Levine. Back to Diallo. Floats one, and it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. The floater can be a tricky shot, but that's the right choice. James Harden, he's been the guy making things happen for Louisville. Moving the rock and looking for a shot, it's clear he's in a good rhythm. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. It's your Pistons 
again? If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Well, I'm really loving their activity. I mean, they're contesting shots. They've really set a strong tone early. Well, as a shooter, when the ball is sent back in your direction enough times, it can certainly have an impact on your mind. Bay and Grant make up the forward pair. Then it's Amadou Diallo. Then there's Mitchell Robinson. And it's Washington in at the point guard position. That's the five on the floor for the Pistons. And Diallo, here we go. Out to the right wing. And here's Grant from the arc. And the Pistons, another three. Very good awareness from Grant. Just the ability to catch and shoot. So important to his growth. Cassell misses. Now here's Bay. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points. Moves on. Here's the three. That one goes. Now he's one for two. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. This pick is mostly no surprise, but here's your player of the week for the Eastern Conference, James Harden. He's made himself the cornerstone of their offensive efforts recently, and he's providing for his squad in every regard on that end of the floor. Scoring, passing, picks, you name it, he's doing it. On the wing, Brooks. Over Diallo. And that one's good for Brooks. Brooks has got his first two points. All right, Doris, survey the league for us. Some teams that look great on paper coming into the year have really underachieved thus far. Yeah, winning isn't always about just having a collection of quality talent. It's do the pieces fit together? Is there a commitment to winning across the board? Theories and predictions are fine, but you actually play the game between the lines. But Jeremy Grant has figured out how to be opportunistic on the interior. Nicely done there. Here's Harden. It doesn't go for him. And it's Detroit the other way. They defeated Milwaukee in their last game. And that night, they did a great job of executing their plays and creating mismatches. Well, it was certainly a game that their analytics people had to love breaking down. I thought they exposed every weakness in the defense. Here's Harden. Give him eight. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together oh, some shots to have any kind of chance. Oh, Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Got it. I'll tell you what. They are on fire this quarter, taking total command of this game. And here's Brown for three. Detroit with a rebound. Outside, pass to Washington. Here's Bay. Grant outside. Second chance effort, and he sinks the layup. Grant's got nine. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Outside, Brown from deep. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got six assists now in the game. Though he does have a scorer's mindset, Harden's vision and experience playing alongside some of the best talent in the league have made him an awesome playmaker. Now here's Grant. He's got nine. Here's Bay. Got a hand on it. Back to Portis. Pass to Harden. The three is up. The rebound by Diallo. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Bay against Brown. Washington passes to Graham. Rebounded by James Harden. 
boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. Over Washington. Nice shot by Harden. Harden. Harden's got five Crazy. points now in the quarter. Harden. You'd like to see Harden knocking down the mid-range shot. When he doesn't ignore that oh, area of the floor, the defense has a much tougher job to do. Stewart, he's checked in for Robinson. Olenek comes in for Grant, and it's Levine in for Bay. Outside Olenek, pass to Washington. Levine with a screen on right. Here's Washington. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Washington's got his third basket of the night. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Here's Conchar. The three. The rebound by Stewart. Levine with room to shoot. And again, it's Detroit. Zach Levine working that mid-range game. So easy, so fluid. Back to right from the arc. Counted from distance. Wright's gotten himself going here. His first point to the game on the deep ball. Washington against Wright. The 11-footer. He's off on that one. Washington's gone three of nine Two shooting. 11 feet out. Two. Rebound Detroit. There's a minute 54 left in the second quarter. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. Levine's got four assists in the game. Pass to Conchar. Let's the three fly. And he can't sink that one. He's two for four in the contest. The Pistons leading. Washington outside. Levine with it. 14 points for him. Offline from the high post. And we've got 118 left in the second period. Boy, that's as wide open as you're going to get. The defense needs to lock in and be better than that. Washington inside. Nine points in the game. Stewart finds Olenek. Washington outside. Shot clock at five. Can't get it to fall. Washington's gone just four for 11 from the field. Here's Conchar. Offensive rebound. Right. Puts the fadeaway right on the money. Wright's got five. You know, he had room to operate, but added a little fade on that shot just for good measure. Olenek passes to Washington. Outside Levine. And he makes it. Levine's got four points in the quarter. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. To the left side wing. Here's Coffee. And it's off from three-point range. Diallo's got room. Conchar pulls it in. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Tie game in Detroit. We'll take a quick break and then get you back to the action. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. The Detroit Pistons finding themselves in a closely contested game. 
Well, their strategy to pound inside has worked well so far. I wouldn't get away from it if I was drawing up the second half plan. Uh, keep working into the posts, and you got to win that physical battle. Now let's take a moment and see what games still lie ahead. For the Celtics, they'll be up against the Clippers out in Los Angeles. 8 p.m. Eastern, that one gets started. These teams are well matched. It's going to be anyone's game. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Boy, Zach Levine has been sensational. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. And one of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. James Harden out there with John Conchar. Then it's Bruce Brown, and it's Portis in at the five, roaming the paint. It's incredible. I mean, it changes the dynamic of your offense when you have bigs who can shoot the ball. It's almost gotten to the point where you have to be able to hit that face-up jumper nowadays. Very few exceptions to that rule. Now here's Grant. Nine points in the game. Knocks it down from distance. Nine points in the game. We've seen five lead changes so far. Neither team able to pull away. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to come down to the wire. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at them. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. Here's Levine. 16 points for him. Pass to Washington. Grant with a screen on Harden. Washington with the ball. Portis picks him up. Now a chance to break down how the starters and reserves have contributed in the scoring department tonight for Detroit. A tight one here in Detroit. The Pistons clear it. Robinson's got a rebound number five here tonight. Here's Levine. Oh, wow! Incredible! Such a big-time athlete. Levine makes the hardest moves look easy. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Pass to Washington. Here's Bay. And again, it's Detroit. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Brown's gone 2 of 5 from the field here. Now here's Levine. Back to Washington. Grant outside. Drives to the hoop. Oh, Grant throws it down. Well, Jeremy Grant going to give a little lesson in how to finish off a drive. Whoa. Here's Conchar. He drops it from range. Conchar's got eight points. Oh, the defense has to stay attached to him on the perimeter. Timeout called the Pistons. Well, Doris, you called mixed Time games out. on radio and TV. You've seen them go through a lot. How excited are you for their future? You know what, B.A., one of the things I've always said is that the NBA is better when the New York Knicks are good. And the reason I say that is the fan base is so passionate. So for a team to play as hard as the Knicks did, uh, for them to experience the success and get into the playoffs, to me, it is just excellent for the NBA. Checked in for Grant. Your dance, the dance team. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And it's Washington missing. Washington's gone four of 12 shooting from the field. 
Pass to Harden. Back to Bielitsa from 17. Zach Levine clears it away. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Hey, good. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Boucher. The Pistons making a switch here. Stewart's checked in. Here's Harden. No good off the back of the rim. The Pistons leading. Washington right side. Shoots over Harden. Here's Stewart. Pass to Washington. Out of bounds. Pistons ball as Detroit keeps possession. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. But a really good read on his part. Being disruptive at the defensive end right now. Diallo's checked in for Washington. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Clock at six. Diallo with the ball. Now guarded by Bielita. Here's Stewart. And finished off by Stewart. Oh, oh, oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Now here's Bay. Here's Diallo. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. On Tuesday, they'll be matching up against Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Then on Thursday, they'll be playing against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. They have a nice string of home contests coming up. This team has been fantastic in their own house. So a great chance to put together a few wins right now. And the first one at the line is good. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme, or is it a problem with matchups? Outside Harden, pass to Shepard, over Boucher. Ooh, they can't stop the run with that one. And they've committed to controlling the boards, and it's paying dividends. Here's Levine for three. Score it. 13 shots, nine makes. Solid. Boy, Levine's range, his consistency from three are so problematic. Harden's shot is good. James Harden. And here's Detroit. They've led by as many as 11. Diallo left side. They with room to shoot. And Detroit again with the bucket. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Here's Shumpert. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. against Levine. Oh, they find the hot hand. You can count it. He's 10 for 14 now. We're talking about a three-level score. Right now, Zach Levine getting to the painted area. High percentage finish. Oh, man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Pass to Diallo. Back to Levine. To the middle. Diallo gets the bucket. Diallo's got four points this quarter. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Here's Harden. Here's Bielitsa. Some solid defense from Stewart. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. 
They're doing what they can do to mount a comeback. And B.A., they don't have to get it all back at once. Just focus on making every possession count. Now here's Bay. He's got 16. Pass to Boucher. Levine with it. Defended by Harden. Boucher finds Bay. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. So for the Pistons, Olenek comes in for Stewart. And it's Jeremy Grant in for Bay. James Harden. One shot. That's good from Harden. A nightly triple-double threat. Harden's level of creativity and incredible confidence makes him lethal. Levine against Harden. Levine passes to Boucher. Grant outside. Takes it inside. The baseline J is off the mark. Harden from outside. Trains the triple. Harden's got 12 points now in the quarter. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Here's Levine. Outside for Grant. The three is up. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. Levine's got assist number seven tonight. And so it's the Detroit Pistons. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. Hey, your Pistons mascot. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. How about the secondary playmaking you are getting? Great to have that from the shooting guard spot. Come on, fans. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. Mitchell Robinson is out there with Kelly Olynyk, Then there's Zach Levine. Then it's Jeremy Grant. And it's Washington in at the point guard position. That's the group for Detroit right now. Back to Grant. Let's go with a three. Right with the board. Harden into the lane. Damn, that one's good. Harden's got 14 points here in the second half. All right, if you're DeLon Wright, you've got to be willing to set your teammates up. What a pass on time, on target. Robinson, a screen on Harden. Here's Levine for three. Wright with the board. Wright's got four rebounds in the game. Harden with it, picked up by Grant. Here's Conchar. On target from range. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Pass to Levine. Down low. Here's Robinson. And a big finish by Robinson. Well, Mitchell Robinson will take it to the rim with authority every chance he gets. And Harden gets the double team. Back to right. Launches a three. Rebound Detroit. Robinson's got eight rebounds in the game. The Pistons leading. Pass to Washington. Here's Levine for three. No luck on that one. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Three-pointer. Harden hits the three-pointer. Harden. Harden's got five James. points in the quarter. Harden. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And that guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. All right. Stewart, he's checked in for the Pistons. Bay comes in for Grant. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. 
Guys, over that last break, I listened to Dwayne Casey address the team. He told them this is a game that we can win. It's a game we should win. We've matched those guys step for step. From this point forward, let's try to force them to play at our tempo. Okay, thank you, Allie. And here's Washington. Pass to Stewart. On the wing, Levine. And he lobs it up. And finished off by Stewart. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a 10-point pass. Drills it from deep. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Washington against Wright, and here's Levine. It's stolen by Wright. And here they come. Here's Brooks. To take the lead. The shot off that time. And Detroit will go the other way with it. They held a 12-point lead earlier. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. Now here's Washington. The three-pointer off the mark. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. So it's Detroit now. Two-point game. Bay from long range. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Levine. Three. Levine's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Three-pointer Brooks drops in the three. They're really employing a deep-range initiative here in the fourth, and it's working. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection, swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. Now here's Wright. Portis outside. From downtown, Washington grabs the miss. Washington's got four rebounds now. Pass to Levine. And he gets the bucket. Levine's got 25 points. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. It's Brown on the wing. Fires from deep. Knocks down the long J. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Brown's gone four for eight from the floor. Levine passes to Robinson. And a big finish by Robinson. Oh, boy. Seven foot and athletic. That is spectacular by Mitchell Robinson. Portis for three. Rebounded by the Pistons. Stewart's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. 11 feet out. And it's Washington missing. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. Harden, he's checked in for right. Zach Levine with a strong contribution so far in this one. Boy, much needed timeout. This guy Time scoring at will, and they had no answer. Who wants a two shot? Then make some noise! Hey, it's your business mascot! Harden drawing the double team. It's Brown on the wing. Back to Harden. The baseline, Jay. And the shot goes. Harden's got seven now in this quarter. And I love how Harden makes scoring look effortless. Filling it up in such a hurry.
Washington against Harden. Now here's Levine. Defense right on him. And James Harden pulls it down. Driving to the basket. Yep, that one goes. Harden's got 34. Few guards in the league can carve out space on the interior the way Harden does. Pass to Bay from deep. Doesn't go for him. Harden, the pass to Portis from about 19. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. Now here's Levine. Portis with it. Picked up by Grant. Fires for three. And they recover it. The three. And the three-pointer goes. And you can feel the temperature rising in this arena. Both teams pouring it on offensively. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side. Oh, oh, that's oh the my! Right there. Wow! Let's remember, we are talking about a dunk contest champion. Zach Levine cleared for takeoff. Harden with a bucket. Oh. And his fantastic performance from the last game oh. has carried over to tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. It's Brown on the wing from outside the arc. Good. That's his fifth bucket in nine attempts. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. And right now, if you're the defense, you've got to be careful. Harden excels at finding ways to get to the free throw line. At the line for the away team, Harden, Harden, James Harden, two shots. Good on the first, and that stretches their lead to eight. And so he drops them both, and it's a nine-point game here. Well, this trip to the line should seal the deal. Amazing job. Here's Levine for three. Hauled in by Brown. Shot and game clock separated by five. Back to Harden. Here's Conchar. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Assisted. Harden. The Pistons on offense. Harden. Here's Levine on the wing bay. Let's it go from deep. That shot off the mark. And so the.